What is up guys, it's Rizky here. Welcome back to another Call of the Wild video on my channel here today. We got some more news about the brand new Tia Wora map. I believe I said that right. A lot of you guys helped me out in the last video and tried to help me pronounce it. Tia Wora, I think I said that right. I'm probably still saying it wrong, but uh, I'll learn eventually. We have some more news here that I'm gonna be sharing with you guys that we learned from the most recent EW live stream. Basically ran through the live stream, watched as much as I could and gathered as much information as I can. And I'm gonna be sharing that with you guys in today's video so if you do go on to find this video useful make sure you smash that like button subscribe if you haven't already and let's get straight into this so in this live stream we actually got some gameplay of the brand new rifle i'll roll a clip of it here in just a moment but first i'm going to show you guys all of the variants that we have of the brand new fl sporter 303 and this right here in this picture is the burnished version it looks really beautiful like some pristine like red mahogany wood i don't know what the hell kind of wood that is but some kind of red colored wood looks so super beautiful like a pristine version of this gun and the 303 is an interesting caliber as they talked about in the live stream here it's not really a super common caliber over here in the united states but over in new zealand area apparently from like world war one I, I believe maybe two the 303 caliber was very popular because of the lee infield was one of the main battle rifles from that day and age so over there in New Zealand, the 303 caliber is definitely a pretty popular hunting round. I don't know about this day and age, but at least, you know, back in the past. This variant is the laminated, just another pristine looking version here. I don't think we have any versions that are like beat up, kind of like we have for the Mosin and I believe the M1 Garand, how they're kind of worn and battle scarred, if you will. This is just another wood version, like a lighter color wood. Looks very good itself there. And this is the polymer version, just a plain black polymer texture to this rifle. Looks really nice. Can't complain about that. I think the one that I'm gonna be running the most is definitely the burnished version that one is so clean for the 303 caliber rifle we will have soft points and polymer tips so in case anyone was wondering that yes you will have both ammo types it's on radar but we don't currently have that uh in our like it's not you'll be able to take out animals from classes four to eight with the 303 rifle so you have quite a large variety of animals to kill with this rifle so it should be pretty effective on basically every single map right here is a quick screenshot of the map featuring tk down there in the corner i know he's kind of covering it up but this is the best screenshot i have so you can see kind of all the different regions of this map, all the different like areas, you know, Stone Castle, Wekarara River, another thing that I don't know how to pronounce, Terahor Ranges, Terahor Ranges, I think I'm saying that right, I don't know, Wakati, Wakati, don't know if I'm saying that right, but yeah, we'll eventually learn all of the names of things. Like I said in the last video, I speak American, so um, yeah, I'm not really good at these things. But overall, a very good looking map here. If you did watch the stream, you definitely got to see it. I know Flinner and a couple other community content creators, which I'm not one apparently. <laughs> <clears throat> Anyways, I could care less, but but a couple other content creators in the community did get a chance to take a look at this map firsthand, and it does look absolutely beautiful. Just some side information, if case you are wondering, the Red Deer collar will work for, obviously, the Red Deer and the Sika Deer. The Snortmies will work for the Sika Deer and the wild boar collar will work for the feral pigs. That's basically all I gathered from this live stream. They didn't really talk about anything else that was super important regarding this map. So in case you didn't see the last video, go check it out. There might be some information in there that you might've missed and you probably wanna hear. Um, I'll go over it one more time. The release date is December 10th for PC and it is coming early 2021 for PS4 and Xbox One. That's gonna do it for this video, guys. Hopefully this helped you out, answered a few questions for you. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. Later.